Hello, welcome back to the Flow Arts Institute fire safety video series. This video deals with fire suppression using fire extinguishers. In the context of fire performance, fire suppression is the process of extinguishing fire, otherwise known as putting fire out. In general, there are two categories of fire suppression that are commonly used in fire performance, handheld fire extinguishers and fire suppression cloth. In this section, we'll discuss fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers store an extinguishing agent under pressure. While the agents vary between types of extinguishers, the purpose of each extinguishing agent is to remove or interrupt one section of the fire tetrahedron that we've previously discussed. In the United States, there are several categories of fire extinguishers, each classified by the type of fire that they're meant to put out. A rated extinguishers put out conventional fires which have fuels such as paper or wood and make ash as a product of their combustion. B rated extinguishers put out liquid fuels such as those coming in barrels which are generally the fuels used in fire performance. C rated extinguishers are helpful in putting out fires that are fueled by electrical current. D rated extinguishers work on metal fires such as magnesium fires or those created by dynamite. K extinguishers are meant to put out kitchen oil and fat fires. What's important to know is that unless there are multiple ratings on an extinguisher, an extinguisher that's rated for one type of fire will not be able to put out another type of fire and may even make it worse. For example, using an A rated extinguisher on a liquid fuel fire, which is technically a class B fire, will not extinguish the fire, but actually spread the fuel around, making the fire larger. As a fire performer, it's essential that you become familiar with the two most common types of fire extinguishers, ABC and BC rated extinguishers. An ABC rated extinguisher is a generally a dry chemical extinguisher with a chemical called monoammonium phosphate with a nitrogen propellant inside it. Common BC rated extinguishers contain sodium bicarbonate, which is just baking soda, or potassium bicarbonate, which is purple in color, or simple carbon dioxide. Fire extinguishers are additionally rated with numbers that are listed before their letter ratings, and these numbers show the extinguisher's extinguishing capacity in gallons of water for A rated extinguishers, or square feet of fire for B rated extinguishers. Let's overview fire extinguisher use in general. So in general, the mnemonic PASS, P-A-S-S, -S, which stands for pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep, is appropriate. So P stands for pull. Pull the pin of the fire extinguisher that prevents the extinguisher from being accidentally discharged. The next step is A, stands for aim. Aim the nozzle of the fire extinguisher at the base of the fire. The next letter in the acronym is S for squeeze. This means squeeze the handle of the fire extinguisher to activate it. And finally, the final S means sweep. Sweep the nozzle of the fire extinguisher from side to side to completely cover the base of the fire. Let's talk about some of the common errors in fire extinguisher use. In the heat of the moment, pun intended, it's easy to use a fire extinguisher incorrectly. The number one problem in fire extinguisher use is not pulling the pin out of the handle completely. Just remember, it's like a grenade. You gotta pull the pin out for it to work. The other common error is pointing the nozzle of the extinguisher at the fire rather than the base of the fire. Just like in real life, if you're not getting the desired results, you're probably aiming at the wrong target. So specifically for fires, lower your aim. Another common error is thinking that you can reuse a fire extinguisher at a later date. If it's a dry chemical or powder-based extinguisher, the likelihood that the pressure will begin to leak out of the extinguisher as soon as it's used once is really quite high, leaving you with an ineffective fire extinguisher the next time you want to use it. Think of fire extinguishers as single-use tools only. Once they're used once, they should be labeled as such and subsequently inspected and refilled as soon as possible. Despite fire extinguishers being used to create safer environments, they can also be quite dangerous in that their chemicals and propellants can be directly harmful to humans. 
The monoammonium phosphate contained in the ABC extinguishers can be irritating to the mucous membranes of the body, such as the eyes, mouth, and nose, and can certainly cause a hazard if inhaled. While the sodium or potassium bicarbonate in some of the BC rated extinguishers is generally less harmful, the carbon dioxide BC extinguishers can cause harm in that they displace the oxygen that's needed to breathe. Furthermore, the carbon dioxide that comes out of this type of extinguisher is extremely cold, close to negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit, certainly cold enough to lead to frostbite on exposed skin in a matter of seconds. The bottom line is that the ABC or BC rated fire extinguishers should only be used to extinguish people who are on fire as a last resort. Finally, as a reminder, in the United States, all fire extinguishers need to be inspected and tagged by your local fire extinguisher company at least once per year. Don't forget to do this, it only makes you look unprofessional. And a bit on formal training. I highly recommend that every fire performer and fire safety personnel have experience discharging both an ABC rated extinguisher as well as a BC rated extinguisher. It's best to do so in a controlled environment other than the instruction of a professional fire safety personnel, such as representatives from the local fire department or the local fire extinguisher company. In summary, fire extinguishers store a variety of compressed fire suppression chemicals for use in fighting fires. In the US, fire extinguishers are rated from A through D and letter K, and they're meant to be used on fires with different fuel types. Finally, there are several pitfalls in the selection and use of fire extinguishers, and all fire performers and fire safety personnel really should seek in-person training on the correct selection and application of fire extinguishers. So, thanks again for watching this episode of the Flow Arts Institute video series on fire and fuel safety for fire performers and fire safety personnel. For more information, tune into our next video of the series. And hey, thanks again. I'm Howard Chen for the Flow Arts Institute.